I spent the last few months making the plugin of my dreams, and I'm gonna show you everything about it. Now, I'm talking about the Vocal Effects plugin, fellas, okay? This isn't no regular vocal preset, yada yada. This is this is everything. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory, but essentially what the premise of the plugin is, is to make it as easy as possible to add a bunch of unique effects to your songs without having to worry about any hassle. So some things I wanted to check off the box with this plugin was a wide selection of different effects you could use. It's simple to understand whether or not you're very experienced with making music or you're just starting. <laughs> make it look cool. And last but not least, obviously make it sound really good <laughs> i'm gonna go over the whole installation process now i recommend using the newest version of fl it's probably just gonna work better on it everything kind of just works better on the newest version of fl so may as well so i'll leave the link in the description to download it's gonna be on my website logoner.com all the information's on there but uh when you download it you should get something like this it might look like a folder or something like this but it'll say vocal effects with this one we're going to be going over the vocal effects plus so all you have to do is right click it and then click extract and it'll extract to a file or a folder right here and voila we got it right there now opening this up this is uh this is the bread and butter okay so not only do we have five different skins which is very fucking swag i've never done that before but also presets that come with it now originally on the website it said 15 because that's what we were aiming for 15 but there was just so many different options that we could have done with this so we just did 20. <laughs> i figured you know what may as well more bang for the buck right now all you have to do is just drag and drop the plugin which has never been easier i'm gonna use a monochrome one on this one right here so we just drag it on and it's loaded just like that we have the monochrome version right here now you might be asking how do i use the presets it's very similar you can either do the same thing go into the folder and drag it on or you can add it to your presets channel like so let's say we want to go to the let's say the blue one and um, let's do let's just do a simple one with the with the vocal preset on yes vocal preset it comes with a vocal preset for free so we're going to play this song with just the main vocals and with no effects on it just my raw vocals I done got others, but like, oh my god, look what I did. Remember they always hating on the kid and on the shit. If I write that shit, it's me. Okay, not good. We're gonna turn this plugin on like so. And you can see right here, we have the vocal preset turned on. This is what just comes with it. So this is just the vocal preset on it, no effects added on. I done got others, but like, oh my god, look what I did. Remember they always hating on the kid and on the shit. If I write that shit, it's me, smash, baby. Uh, that's just a, a switch of a button. Now, if you're wondering how you get those presets into this, don't worry. It's actually a lot easier than you think. So first of all, put on tree display. Just makes it look a lot nicer. But also, uh, you just go here to this little triangle and click save preset as. It'll bring you to this little folder here, but none of this will be here. You pretty much just wanna drag all the presets that you downloaded into here. So then you can easily switch not only to different skins, but different presets instantaneously. Let's say we wanted to do, let's say we wanted to switch the skin. So let's do, let's do cherry, but then let's also do summer's ghost. Right away, we got this pastel kind of ice cream looking colorway. I really like it personally. Uh, we have the band pass on. So let's just turn that off because that's kind of for an ad lib kind of effect. But uh, let's hear what we got. Super wide and very eerie. Hard. Now, a big reason why I think this plugin is super, super cool is because the preset is not like needed. You don't need that. So let's say that you mix your own stuff. You know what I mean? You don't use presets and stuff like that, which is totally fine. You can always turn this off and then link your own preset to this to just use the effects on it. The preset is just an added bonus. You know what I mean? It's just there if you need it. But let's play around with some effects and stuff like that. Let's do the ad libs because I'll be fucking with the ad libs. So I have my ad libs set on track three, but we're just gonna use the vocal effects purple theme. Okay, the purple one. I was kind of debating whether to put the purple one as the main one or the blue one. I picked the blue one because I felt like it was more like, you know, it just felt gave more of a main energy. <laughs> but I like the purple one as well. You gotta let me know which skin you like the most as well, by the way. But uh, we're just gonna play around with it and go over the effects and whatnot. Okay, so. So let's go over some delay. Wah, 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 wah. Basic delay for number one. Hey. Kind of faster. Wah, 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 hey. Go over two. Match, baby. Yeah. Just a little bit slower of a delay. Wah, wah, hey. Let's switch over to number three. Now this one's hey. ping pong. So if you have headphones on. Yeah. Match, baby. Super hard. Well, let's make some uh, distortion in there with this. Let's put a little low pass on there. Uh, put some reverb with it. 
Some ghosts as well. Just messing around a little bit, there's so much, you know what I mean? But to explain the layout in a really simple manner, uh, we have four main effects right here with sliders for the volume. And then underneath it, we have different presets for that effect. That'll give it a totally different sound than, for example, one, two, or three. Then underneath that, we have four more effects that just have a slider, essentially. It's, it's a more of a knob, but I mean, it's just for the volume. Underneath that, we have a low pass, band pass, and a high pass. It's a very simple filter, but it's super crucial because it's very nice for stuff like ad-libs or even just automations. You can pretty much automate everything in here. You go up on its own or down on its own while the song is playing. Let's switch up to the monochrome one. Let's do iPhone speaker. Wow. Let's add some delay on there. Uh. Let's add some big crush on there. I love that big crush sound. It's so nice. Yeah, to summarize, I'm super happy with the way this came out because not only could you use this for so many different types of genres, it sounds super good and it's really reliable. I've been using it on tons of my music now. Anybody from a really experienced engineer is going to know how to use this to a very new beginner. And I think that's something really special because a lot of plugins these days are really complicated if you don't know what the hell is going on. I think music should be fun to make. And when you add in engineering and a lot of that stuff, a lot of people kind of get steered away. So uh, hopefully this stuff helps. That's the whole goal of it so uh yeah once again if you guys do want it logunner.com gonna be down in the description for you guys i really appreciate it there is a crazy sale going on right now because it just released like today so you guys are like the first come first serve sales not gonna be on for very much longer if you guys have any questions make sure you guys let me know down in the comments and i'm sure i will be able to get to you but uh yeah we got you i'll see you <laughs>